It's me. I'm back. Hi, I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming live to you on my Facebook business page, um, facebook.com slash dazzlebystamping, in case you want to go find me on Facebook. You can find me anytime uh, on my website at dazzlebystamping.com, and, um, and every Wednesday morning at 1030 Eastern Time, on, I can see somebody's watching, but I can't see who it is. Um, every Wednesday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So, um, I'm excited to be here with you today. I can't think of any funny stories for you yet. Oh, hi, Kathy. I can see you now. <laughs> um, I don't have any funny stories for you this morning, but I have some um, good news. This weekend, um, Todd and I are going to see Liz um, just for the day. Hi, Marsha. I see you. Thanks for watching. Um, we're going to see Liz this weekend. Just um, a quick trip down and back on Saturday. And um, and my sister, um, Teresa, is coming uh, in a couple weeks to see all of us. So that's kind of fun news. I'm excited for that. Um, so I am showing you today. Well, I, I want to show you a card first that I... Oh, I thought I messed it up. Um, I I don't know if you remember. Hi, Cheryl. I'm glad you're here. Um, I don't know if you remember my doing a um, using spectrum pads or not. Um, but I did kind of a poll to see <laughs> bat girl. <laughs> same bat time, same bat place. No, same bat channel. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're funny. Um, so I had used spectrum pads um, probably a couple months ago now, and I kind of did a, a survey, I guess I'll say, a poll, something to see what colors people um, thought I should do with my second spectrum pad. And so I finally used it today. I, used, I did this swap. Sorry, I'm shaking my table. I'm just kind of being wiggly this morning. Um, so I used my second spectrum pad, and I made this swap. Hi, Dina. Um, this is so happy. Oh, I know. I can't, I can't wait to go see her. Um, so here is my card using my second spectrum pad that I finally inked up. So we have Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and Bermuda Bay. So that made for kind of fun. And on this, I'm not sure if you can see it. Thank you. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I used... Um, Wink of Stella on the flowers just to kind of spread the color a little bit. Ha! Ah, I know, I love it. Um, hi Diane! Um, so anyway, so that was my, my second Spectrum Pad. The first, I don't remember what the first one was, it's over there somewhere, but if I go get it, you'll see my mess behind me. <laughs> That's not happening today. I didn't clean it up very much. Hi, Sherry. Glad to see you again. Twice in less than 24 hours. How fun. <laughs> um, okay, so today what I'm doing is... Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Um, I don't remember the name of the stamp set. Floral Statements. That's what it's called. Hi, Lisa Marie. Um... A floral statement so it has the hello with the flowers and then it has thank you all in it too and you know my love of coloring <laughs> not nah, I've been doing more that frogs getting me <laughs> I just do you know the frog is about as much coloring as I do oh but then I did succulents in the in the um, paper pumpkin kit those those were you had to do that um, cause I'm making thank yous for my paper pumpkin subscribers. So I thought I would use the stamp set. Okay. So what I'm doing today is I'm using, um, Beauty of Bounds and the thin let's go with it. I think it's called Butterfly Beauty or something like that. So I'm doing a class on this, um, in, well, like three weeks, something like that. It's on April 8th. Um, it's a Monday. And um, the deadline to sign up for it isn't this coming Monday, but the following. So we're going to be using this stamp set. And um, these are some of the thinlets. 
we're gonna be using all those that you see I think um, and so I hadn't gotten together my oh cool sorry I just got a notification that something shipped that I need <laughs> sorry <laughs> real life um, it just popped up so um, I made samples for the class and um, and so I'm going to stamp a couple of them today, and um, so I want you to join the class. So um, it's going to be on Monday, April 8th, and I'm having a morning class, 10 a.m., and an evening class, 7 p.m. So um, you have to sign up within a week and a half or so. So um, let's see. Is there anything I have to tell you first? I don't think so. Oh, okay. So Beauty Abounds, that bundle is on page 13 of the Occasions Catalog. Thanks for sharing already, Dina. Um, and um, mostly what I'm doing for the class is I wanted to use, um, I love the colors of the, um, I gotta look, Broadway Bound. Uh, uh, hi, Marilyn. Uh, the Broadway Bound um, a sweet and designer paper and whatever so I'm kind of sticking with those colors I may do one card that's different we're gonna be making five cards I don't know if you guys had looked up the class or not but I switched it to five cards instead of four and I switched um, what you're getting you're gonna be getting um, it's a $35 class you need to pay up front um, and it is uh, you're getting the pick a pattern um, washi tape that's the black and white stuff. I love it. I haven't used it in a while, but I love it. Um, basic rhinestones and then a pack of the multi-purpose adhesive sheets. Those are like amazing, wonderful that you have to have for um, thinlets, especially these more fine detail ones. So anyway, so <clears throat> that's the class. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things that we're going to make. And... Um, and then I'll show you one more sample when I'm done that I'm not going to make today, but it will be part of the class. So remember, um, what I make today, um, I give away. So if you uh, share, like, and comment that you shared um, this video, then you get entered into a drawing. And I always do the drawing on Monday. So, um, so thank you for sharing already, Dina. And I don't know if anybody else said that. Um, so I'm going to do that. I can't see who's popping on when people come on so uh, or what you're saying unless I like peek under sometimes I can see it um, but just keep um, asking questions or commenting or whatever if you um, even while I'm stamping I can't see what you're doing but I'll talk to you when I'm done so um, I'm gonna put you down and um, start my stamping oh, I forgot which one I was doing first okay here I go. So um, I had to use, uh, for those of you who weren't just popped on, this is my um, my card that I made with the new, with the spectrum pad that I just um, inked. I just put the new ink in it. Um, so anyway, I part of why I wanted to use the um, the Broadway bound bundle is because. I just really, really like Lemon Lime Twist, and it's about to leave us, and um, that makes me sad, and so I want to use it as much as possible. So I have been. <laughs> so um, so what I first want to do is I have a piece of black cardstock here um, that has the multi-purpose adhesive sheet on it already, and um, so I'm going to um, run this butterfly through the big shot. Now I have this full big thinlet, but for this card all I want is the main big butterfly. So I'm just making sure that that one's on there and where are my mats? So I'm going to make sure that's on there and then um, I can snip off the other ones um, from around there. Uh, make sure we're good. Okay, just gonna run this through. So I'm gonna go back and forth just to make sure that it's cutting well. And let's see. So 
I don't need these pieces. So I'm done with the big set. That's all that I'm doing with that. So I'm going to pop these pieces out here. I tried using, I saw a video recently of, um, actually one of my team members shared it with me, of um, using um, dryer sheets um, for helping these things to pop out. And... I think they don't work quite the same when you have the adhesive sheets on the back because it came out of the thinlet grate, but I still had them all to um, pop out of the actual butterfly. So it wasn't very, it, it looks great when you, if you're not using the adhesive sheets, but anyway, so I'm going to have to play with that more. All right, so probably my dye brush would work well, but I never pull it out. Alright, so we're going to see. I'm I'm actually, I just realized, I did the big shot, but I, I, um, I don't want to take the backing off that yet. I'm going to work on my card first. Okay, so I have my white piece here, and I'm going to put some washi tape around the end of it. So, I want it to overlap. It'll just um, stay on better, so um, I'm just going to tear it, and so it's just wrapped a little bit here, and then before I put this on, I'm going to grab my butterfly, it's, there's a few butterflies in this, in this stamp set, so one, two, oh, there's two actual butterflies in here, but then there's all sorts of sizes of butterflies in the thinlets themselves. So I'm just going to take this one and just kind of stamp a background with it random, just to give it a little something. And then I'm going to use my snail. On here. I want it kind of low. That's just how I, the way I want it to look. Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to use um, my Stamparatus. So this is going to be a little bit different for class. This is something we're going to be doing in class. But um, everybody's cards are going to be just a little bit different potentially. Um, and where I want to put this is above here. So people might have to line it up themselves. So I'm still going to, I use this, the Stampin' Up! logo right here as my guide. It's easier to get good images if you don't, um, if you stay away from the, what's this, the hinge. I always forget what that's called. Hinge, hinge, hinge. <laughs> ah, okay, I, I don't know why it, it's just always a mental block for me. So I'm going to put my magnets on there. You know not to get your magnets close, right? Always have them on your board or have them stored underneath here. Very, very important. They're very strong and very brittle. Um, I have broken one of mine before, and it was actually on this board. Like, it was, they were a little bit too close, and then they just went together. It's crazy. Okay, so... What I have here, I have to be careful because this is a cling stamp. What I have here is a hello and I'm going to line it up just above, just above my, um, the cling keeps sticking to me, just above my white piece. And I'm going to pick it up, and this time I'm going to make sure, yeah, it's pretty level. I don't usually do this, but I don't know if I just mounted this funny or what, but um, uh, I'm paying attention to, there's actually grid lines on the plates, and um, so I want to make sure that I'm flat so it'll go, so it'll stamp nice and straight for me. Okay. Remember, it's helpful to put 
a stamp case underneath it. And this is not photopolymer, so I am using Stazon. It's my favorite, um, but you don't want to use it with photopolymer because unless you're going to clean it right away. Okay, so I did a, I just got ink on my hand. Don't mind my inky fingers today. They're like crazy. Okay, straight up and down, um, and then you tip it one end or the other. We'll help it come out. I'm going to stamp it. Tip it and drop it. Ink it up again. Ink it up again. I've been using this difference a lot lately and I love it so much. All right, slide our card out. Okay, so here's our card so far. We got hello all the way across the top. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, then now I'm going to put my butterfly on here and I'm gonna try taking the backing off first and see how much of the little pieces might come out with it. Ooh, ooh, yay. It's going well. Woohoo, that makes me happy. My hostess appreciation party didn't go well with that in that way. <laughs> oh, it was a little frustrating for everybody. Okay, so here I'm going to put my butterfly. So I'm just doing the black one. I'm not doing the double layer um, one. It's very pretty, but I'm just doing the black one. So here's that. And then I need a little bling. So um, I'm not bothering with my... Um, my take your pick tool today I'm just sliding so they're just gonna go wherever I want them to go I'm just using the small ones in class you'll have your own sheet of um, of rhinestone so you can put them wherever you'd like how many however you would like and whatever size you would like so here's one card I love it. Lemon Lime Twist in Black is amazing. I love it. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is is um, kind of my favorite that I've done so far. Um, and it reminds me a little bit of, um, I'm, I don't have my bone folder. I don't know where it went. Um, it reminds me of, I'm making thank yous out of my, out of Beauty Abounds also this month. So, um, so that will be a nice thing. Okay, I don't need black yet, so we're gonna cover this up. Always keep your, remember to keep your, this doesn't have um, a flip top, um, keep it upside down stored. Okay, I love these circly kind of, kind of stamps. And I'm gonna use Lovely Lipstick, which is one of the newer in colors, so this is not retiring. And, um, this stamp is kind of a distinctive stamp, I think. It's got, it's got some dark and some light, and I just like the look of it. Not being very random here, it's kind of bugging me a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it'll come off here. There we go. Okay, so just random background. And then what I want to do, I'm going to leave that open because I need it. I already ran, um, I should show you. I'm using the rectangle um, double stitched framelits. That's probably shocking to you all, I know. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so I had a quarter sheet of cardstock and I actually used, um, I used three of these, the three biggest um, rectangles and I'm only using the, the smallest um, center rectangle. So I have this really skinny um, double stitched frame here and it already has tear and tape on the back. I used that already. Um, so I am going to peel off this backing here and I'm going to put my frame down. 
right on my card. And then I'm gonna keep stamping some more. Gotta make sure it was in the camera. Okay, so now, next thing I'm gonna do, okay, this one I am using double, double colors for the butterfly. So these were just one of the little, let me get the big thin lid out again. So this was just, I cut this butterfly off, this whole big one. So all I needed was this size of um, cardstock with the adhesive sheet on the back. Um, but I did obviously in black and lovely lipstick and I already took the adhesive off so I'm putting this on here. And then I'm using a different butterfly um, in lovely lipstick. I'll stamp it here. Uh, I don't know that I like that placement, but oh well. Okay, and then, so I'm done with this. So this has some pretty friend sayings, friend greetings. So this one is, a friend is someone who chooses you. That's what we're gonna stamp on the front. So I lined it up right with my frame that I have there. And Cheryl, I'm stamping the inside. <laughs> Not the way you do. Oh man, she like completely designs the whole inside of her card too. Okay, um, and this, the rest of the saying is, so on the front it said, a friend is someone who chooses you out of a whole world of people. Aw, that's so sweet. All right, now I gotta get my bling, of course. This one I am, I am using, I'm gonna open this so I don't get black on the inside of the card. Um, this one I am actually using three different sizes of my rhinestones. Obviously in class, you can do it the way you want. I feel like there's a blank spot there. There is. Hmm. I'm going to ink up, I'm going to clean this off and ink up just one little dot on here. I don't want to blink. Okay, so I'm going to get this single dot right here. And go stamp. Oh, I got more than a single one. Hmm. Now I don't like it worse. <laughs> All right, we're going to put another rhinestone there is what we're going to do. We're going to get some more bling out. Okay, so this is going to go here. And one's going to go. Another one's going to go up here. You always kind of do um, an odd amount of bling. Um, or actually of anything. I have three three butterflies here. I have five rhinestones here. For some reason, um, odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye. So that's what I always try to go for. Um, I kind of knew that by how I liked things, but then I actually heard that it's a, it's a real thing. Okay, so I'm going to take you up. I'm done stamping. Love that saying. I know that saying is wonderful. It makes you happy, Cheryl, that I stamped inside. This is, like, she designs, she designs, like, the whole, like, there would be more butterflies all over, <laughs> maybe another frame, I don't know, <laughs> and lots of coloring. She likes to color. Um, okay, so here's my second card, and I want to show you, this is another card that we will be making with this class. Um, I told you that there's all kinds of butterflies here. Um, look at these tiny little ones. Look, it's not even as big as, it's like a quarter of my fingernail. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so this one's fun too. Our friendship isn't one big thing. 
it's a million little things. Isn't that sweet? Ah. Okay, so the two cards that I made are up for grabs for um, my drawing. The third one is going to be part of the class. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, and um, so remember, if you want to join this class, um, registration is $35 and, <clears throat> excuse me, you get um, the, oh, I know. Oh, you know what, Sherry? The, um, the, the little ones, I need to show you again. I don't think I even grabbed them all. Okay, so look at these. There's this many, and I think more, that are there. So you can just do a whole bunch at one time rather than um, having to do one a whole bunch of times. Um, love the two-tone butterfly. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, it just I like that Stampin' Up! is doing that so that you don't have to... Um, just my finger. <laughs> oh, Diane, I love you. <laughs> you never can have enough butterflies. Um, you probably still have the old Flutterby, right? <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Kathy. Um, so anyway, sign up for class. Um, and uh, like and comment and share. Did you use the adhesive sheets? Yes, I did. So all I had was... Um, I just had a little piece of black, um, like this big, and let me grab it again. And all of these pieces um, that I did on here, all of them fit on that little piece of black that I had with the adhesive sheet on the back. Um, it was perfect, so I you don't have to do the mini glue dots or anything like that. Um, and there was even more. If you, if you really want butterflies and want a lot more, um, there was still plenty of room to get more of these tiny ones, too. So, so yes. Um, okay, so another class that I have coming up is my All Occasions class. Um, it is March 28th, so two weeks from tomorrow. And um, what it is is we're making six cards, two each of three designs. Um, and uh, we're making Thinking of You, Got Well, an Anniversary. And so that class, um, that's always the last Thursday of every month. And um, so it is $15 or free with a qualifying purchase, a $25 order. Um, and if you bring, um, have a new friend um, sign up for the class too, um, you will each get to choose three... Um, Three cards from my shelf. Did you guys see my shelf last week when I showed you? I'm going to take it out and show you again. Don't look at the rest of the mess. I got to make sure. Oops. Hmm. I've got to figure out how to. Do oh, there we go. I'm going to do it this way. So I'm turning around. There's my card rack. So you can choose. Um, you can choose three cards from the rack and there it's not just for free for bringing a friend um, I am selling cards now from the rack they are two dollars each or three for five and um, I don't just have open store hours for coming to look at cards if you're here to pick up an order or or you're here for a club or class or whatever um, that is when you can can buy them hi Jamie I'm glad that you're here um, so I think that's all that I have, though. Um, I told you about um, the classes and the butterflies, and and I just had a quick one for you today. So, <laughs> Jamie, you're so cute. You didn't, you hardly saw anything, and you just love me. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, so anyway. Have a wonderful day. Does anybody have questions? I didn't ask if you had any questions. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think that I have more for you. So uh, unless you have questions, I'm going to let you go and get back to the rest of your day. So thank you so much for joining me. And you will see me next week again at 1030, Wednesday morning. Have a wonderful day. Bye.